Welcome to the Downtown Madison Happenings Podcast. I'm Jason Elster, president of Downtown Madison, Inc., and we are very excited to have one of our good friends and our sister organization, Matt Trammell, the executive director of Madison Central Business Improvement District, to talk about all things downtown. Seems like the right thing to do on a Downtown Happenings Podcast. We're going to say thank you to our sponsors first and our friends at American Family Insurance, who opened their first offices in downtown Madison in 1927. And its downtown presence continues today with the Spark Building, which is home to the American Family Insurance Institute for Corporate and Social Impact and the Dream Bank, an inspirational community space. Still based in Madison, the company's mission is to inspire, protect, and restore dreams through exceptional products, services, and community partnerships. Matt Trammell, welcome to the downtown team, my friend. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Jason. Thank you so much for having me. Good. Well, if you notice from our backgrounds, we're actually in the same office. So it's all very weird that we're sitting in each other's offices talking to each other while it goes <laughs> to the moon, right? Because when you go to a Zoom call, it goes to, 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 to the moon and back, right? Uh, okay. That is what I've been told, yes. Okay. Okay. Well, long distance. Anyway, Matt, how are you? Welcome to downtown. Things are good with you? Things are great with me. Yeah, thanks. I'm about, uh, about a month in here and uh, really has been... Um, pretty pretty fast learning curve. Um, obviously, I think I've had um, oh, 20, 30, 40 uh, coffees, which I think in downtown Madison, um, with its amazing coffee culture, has been uh, wonderful for me. Um, and I'm uh, really kind of intrigued so far just at the stakeholders down here um, and really across Madison who are uh, so incredibly dedicated to everything that we're doing. And so it's been a really refreshing start for me. So thank you. Was that, a, was that pun intended? Refreshing because you're going to coffee meetings? Yeah, because it's incredibly hot outside. Yes. <laughs> it, 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 we are recording this on maybe the hottest day of the summer right now. Hence Indeed. my summer outfit because it's just hot. But you, so you do drink coffee because I go on a million coffee meetings as well and never drink coffee. Collect hey, way, way to represent Nothing one better. of the many fine coffee shops. One note. Sometimes I have a coffee meet at Colectivo, and sometimes I don't write down if it's Capitol Square or on State Street, and sometimes I get it wrong. So if you see me sprinting down State Street or the other direction, it's because I got the wrong coffee shot. You need but this to isn't about the me. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not about me today. Uh, it is more about Matt. Matt, I think the first thing we want to go over is what is Madison Central Business Improvement District? Your longtime sister organization of Downtown Madison Inc. As you can see, we share office spaces, we do a lot of work together. But what is the mission of Madison Central Business Improvement District? Uh, well, the, the mission is simple, Jason. Um, it, it is to bring uh, as many people um, and organizations and businesses of downtown uh, as often and as much as possible to really. Um, enjoy everything that is going on down here. And, you know, the, the actual district is uh, the entirety of State Street in between uh, the Capitol building, of course, and all the real estate around the Capitol, uh, and then extending even past it on King Street for a bit, and then back down State Street all the way down to the university. So um, clearly that is the backbone of uh, everything that goes on downtown. Uh, it's a historic place and not only you know regionally here in, in, in Wisconsin but also nationally and um, you know it's gone through several different renaissance uh, over the years and I think uh, that we're really at the beginning of another one and um, I'm incredibly excited about that I'm, I'm excited about everything that's going on down here and at the end of the day uh, you know I really believe that this uh, when when we come through this the next five to ten years, um, it's going to be uh, the best downtown in the country. I don't really have any doubt about that. You sort of started to answer this next question, but what interested you about the the bid and about downtown to take this job as executive director? Um, wow, it's a, I don't know, it's kind of a long and winding path to tell you the truth. Um, my wife and I moved here uh, about four years ago. Uh, we lived uh, downtown Chicago, actually on the north side, uh, for 20 years. So we lived in uh, Wicker Park most recently, and then um, you know, West Lakeview, Roscoe Village, Wrigleyville area for about 15 years prior to that. And so really, um, I kind of became addicted to 
urban core uh, area living, um, basically because I think it's the, the best possible energy. Um, and I think it's the best possible place that you can really build a community. And, it, and so in Madison, I think generally what we saw was um, really one of the, um, you know, hot places to live in the country. It's an incredible live, work, play environment. And I think that's why a lot of people are, are coming here. And I think that's why a lot of people who are from here never leave here. Um, and so we saw that. And, um, you know, when, when we first moved up here, it was r- roughly right before uh, the pandemic. And so that kind of quickly um, shut down some of the things that, that uh, we were trying to do. Um, I was kind of growing up a small business at the time with a good friend of mine. And um, so they kind of put a, a break on things to some extent. Uh, but then actually uh, began to get involved with DMI, uh, meeting a lot of people on the Economic Development Committee, uh, and then you know, kind of given my uh, background in uh, commercial real estate, marketing, public relations, uh, it was really kind of ended up being a, a natural fit for me. So uh, when this opportunity came up, uh, it was definitely something I was excited to, to pursue. Well, when I rudely walked into your office this morning and just sat down in your seat, say hello, and we engaged in a conversation, my apologies. You had a time. My door is always open, Jason. (laughs) Yeah, but I barged through today. (laughs) But you brought up an interesting discussion. We had an interesting discussion about experiences and why experiences are so important now, uh, maybe post-COVID, even than they were before. What do you want to see with different experiences in downtown Madison to draw people as a magnet to, to our great space? Oh, that's a great question. Um, well, I think generally we're just starting to scratch the surface uh, on kind of this experiential uh, type of thing that, that uh, really is happening uh, everywhere across the country. Um, and in fact, uh, recently in, um, at Greenway Station, with immersive Van Gogh, this is the type of um, kind of mixed media immersive, you know, idea that I think is really starting to bring people together in different and unique ways. And you don't really need a lot of space to do these types of things. There's a lot of other, you know, kind of programming and event uh, experiential type of, um, um, you know, live music. Um, live art, interactive art, those are the types of things that bring people to a certain area. And when you bring people together, um, you can't help but, but build community. And I think that the downtown currently uh, is, is in a transition and the community is growing. It's growing very, very quickly. Um, and it's going to continue to grow. And you know, it needs to uh, really evolve again into the type of place that, that in addition to, you know, the, the shops, the retail, the office, that stuff exists and, and much of it um, continues to grow and flourish. But we also need some additional drivers uh, to get people down here because once people are down here, um, you know, they, they have a great time. And so uh, it really is an evolution of what's going on. And I think going forward, you're going to see a lot more of the types of events that are destinations in and of themselves to bring people down here. Why are you so excited about the future of downtown Madison? Because it really, you can feel it coming through the camera, or at least I can. <laughs> I can also kind of hear well, you. Yeah, well, look, I mean, I mean, bottom line is um, I'm, I'm so excited about it. I decided to move here. Um, and and that, that's a statement not only about downtown, but, but Madison in general. But the reality is um, downtown is really, you know, in my opinion, one of the most unique um, uh, walkable, um, live, work, play, downtown destinations in the country. And, you know, when you look at the types of projects that are going on now, many of them, you know, long in planning, um, you know, long in partnership um, with the, not only the city, um, but so many key stakeholders in the area, um, you see the energy that's about to happen. It's currently happening. Long-term, we know that there's going to be um, you know, you, maybe Jason, you can tell us more, but, you know, roughly 10,000, you know, new folks down here over the next um, 10 years living down here. And so what's exciting is that the 
the infrastructure, the backbone, everything that that needs to be um, in a in kind of a, a next generation, future forward city is already happening. Um, when you look at the redevelopment of the lakefront, you can see what's going to happen with the historical museum and the veterans museum to anchor the top of State Street. And you see um, the kind of cultural cultural attractions that are already here and bringing people here, the restaurants, the bars, everything, with the, one of the best universities in the country and the state capital. It's an incredibly unique environment and uh, it's one that I know is, is poised for uh, incredible growth. You think I didn't catch that, but I think in the middle of your uh, answer, you tried to turn the tables back onto me and ask me a question. <laughs> I did. It's always good to ask the interviewer a question. That, it's actually really good. Actually, it's a brilliant idea. That, Jason, that how perfect. many new um, <laughs> members of the downtown community do you think that we'll have living here, say, in 2030? <laughs> Well, there are 65, but thank you for that question. I can answer that. According to the DMI Downtown Development Tracker, uh, there are about 6,500 apartment units in the works right now. Obviously, that's a little bigger than the, the space for the bid. But, you know, if, at one and a half to two residents a piece, that gets you to 10,000 pretty quickly here. About 2,500 of those are in construction um, right now. All right. You've been on. The, I'm going to turn it right back on to you. Okay. Although I do like the spotlight on me. So please <laughs> ask any question you want. The You've been in one month on the job. Yeah learned a lot over one month. What is your one goal for downtown Madison right now after one month? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I can, I can give you one goal. Uh, it, and after one month, it's, it's a little bit more of a long-term goal, uh, but it's a, it's a, Oh, I'm not saying it would happen in one month. I'm saying you've been on yeah, the job. Sure. No, I think, you know, look from my perspective and I uh, often take these things with, with a, a real estate um, kind of mindset uh, in, in my mind, uh, the goal is to have 100% occupancy for every building um, that's that's you know in the bid and around downtown, right? If we have uh, every single space uh, that is available to the community, full of um, um, uh, restaurants and um, uh, cultural attractions and small business uh, retail, uh, some national retailers, um, uh, residents, if you have 100% occupancy, and that's a high lofty goal, uh, then you know that you are doing things uh, really well. So uh, I think I want to see the most thriving downtown community uh, that is open and accessible to everybody uh, in the community and that everybody feels um, you know welcomed downtown. They want to come downtown. They want to stay and hang out downtown. That is the primary goal. Another question about one month into the job. What is one thing that has pleasantly surprised you about downtown Madison in the first month? Oh, the, that, the, the passion of the stakeholders. Uh, there, there's so many civic leaders um, and, you know, just residents, business owners, um, um, city staff, uh, the alders. It, it, it does. The, the energy is palpable. Um, the, um, the connections that you make are, are real and genuine. And it feels like uh, that everybody is, is is generally rowing in the same direction. I think because generally everybody's excited um, to be here and, and is excited about everything that's going on. So uh, I think just, again, the, the, the passion of the people who are involved in, in trying to make some of these things happen. You ready, Matt, for the Fast and Furious Five, where we ask five fast questions. Just give me whatever's on the top of yes. your mind. Okay, make it fast and make it furious. Got it. And it might be hard because I might get you in trouble with because you represent about 375 businesses. I'm, so but I'm I'll just, just apologize right I'm now. I'm gonna go fast and, and furious. So I'm not gonna not gonna think too much about this. All right, great. Fave, I know you're a music person. How many times you've been? Yeah. This is not one of the questions. Okay. But how many, how many fish shows have you been to in your life? Um, I haven't done the math lately, but going back to 1996 it was the first time I saw them. Roughly 70. All right. So then what's your favorite, knowing the fish has never played in downtown Madison recently. Recently. Right. What, what is your favorite concert you've ever seen in downtown Madison? Um, Wilco. Um, Wilco, for those of you who don't know, is a great band out of Chicago. They played Madison many, many, many times. Uh, and they played the Sylvie right before uh, COVID locked everything down. And it was our, I was kind of, uh, my wife, Heather and I, you know, Heather's a huge fan 
And it's kind of a, you know, uh, a Chicago thing for us, uh, but it was uh, incredibly memorable. The Sylvie is an amazing venue. Uh, and right after that, everything shut down. Okay. But it was, a great, is... it was a great last last show before. Absolutely. What's your favorite restaurant downtown? Now, this one is going to get your trouble, although, you know, it does not have to be in Madison Central Business Improvement District. There you go. There's your out. Okay. Uh, well, I can get close, and this is an easy one, too, but it's it's sardine. No. Oh, great choice. You know, that's where I was. That's where my wedding reception was. Uh, wow. Um, I did yeah. not know that, but that would more, be an amazing more place fa- for Lex. More fast facts that folks, this is not about me, but somehow I'm turning it to me. But I think a lot of people know that I'm really good at spinning things back on to me. Right, Profe- uh, uh, producer Madeline? She's nodding. Yes, the answer is yes. Uh, yeah, no, we had our wedding reception at Sardine. We also had our rehearsal dinner at Marigold. Breakfast oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. But again, this is not Fast and Furious 5. <laughs> now it's becoming very slow. The slow and arduous 5. What is the number one reason you moved to Madison? Oh, because it's a Monday through Sunday city. Um, that it, and, you know, I, I say that because um, there's a lot of, you know, Chicago's, in my opinion, is, is the uh, most livable big city in the country. Um, and Friday through Sunday, you know, it's very easy to have a good time uh, there, like many big cities. Uh, Monday through Thursday, a little bit more difficult to get around and do things. Uh, but Madison really is um, Sunday through Monday. There's, uh, it's easy to get around. Uh, the outdoor activity, which we're, you know, is big to us, is incredibly accessible, not only in Madison, but right side or right outside of Madison. So it's easy to get to everything um, and great cultural arts. So I know that's actually several things, um, but um, yeah, I think the livability of it uh, is, is probably number one. By answering with more than one answer, you don't, I, I'm not cutting down the number of questions. So question number four, what's your favorite ice cream favorite flavor from Babcock Hall? Oh man. See, now you are going to get me in trouble. Um, I haven't been. There. I don't think the folks at Babcock are, they're probably not watching or they, okay. that, they're going to like whatever you say. I promise. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get there and try something to get back to because I haven't done that yet. Well, try You can try the newest flavor, Manuki which is? cookie dough, which is named after Jennifer Manukin. So, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll be my first stop. Big. I, I will just tell you, I'm a big fan of Union Utopia. But again, it's not about okay. me. Last question. Okay. Visitor comes to town. You take him to downtown Madison. What's the perfect day for that visitor here in our favorite downtown? Hmm. Uh, I think um, I would start with um, probably um, Bass's Street Brunch Club, get a little fuel in us. Uh, and then I think I would go over to the Chasen Art Museum, which I believe is world class. Um, I would have to take them through our state capitol uh, because I do think it's incredible and it's a, a little mini version of our national uh, capital. Um, I think I would probably need to stop for a cocktail at Cooper's Tavern. Um, And then if I was still feeling, um, you know, like we needed a little bit more, I would definitely try to check out um, live music at any one of, um, you know, numerous venues. So whatever, actually, whatever would be going on would be great uh, because the live music scene here is spectacular. Well done. Matt Trammell, Executive Director of Madison Central Business Improvement District. It's great to connect with you. We're very excited about working with you for the future of downtown Madison. Thank you all for listening to our Downtown Happenings podcast and our sponsor, American Family Insurance. Hopefully we'll see you downtown at an event or just around downtown sometime soon. Hope you have a good weekend. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Jason.